Hi, I'm Joseph Yulo. I'm a visual storyteller from New York City, and uh, I am happy to be here. Uh, your instructor and my good friend of mine has, has asked me to come and introduce myself and to talk to you about storytelling um, and how to do that effectively with, with what you have and, um, and the resources you, you have access to. So I, I'm a type of filmmaker that always likes to work within his means, work with what I have or what I have access to. And, all, and I've always been asked, Joe, uh, people always ask me, Joe, what is the best camera to use on your project? And I always tell people, it's the camera that you have. The best camera to use is the one you have. So in this, in this uh, series of videos that I'm going to be making for you guys, we're going to talk about how to tell your story visually using the, the equipment or access to the equipment that you have specifically a smartphone we're going to use smartphones um the cameras on smartphones to tell your stories and it all comes down to is the story it doesn't matter what type of camera you have what matters is the story is the story compelling is are the shots composed correctly and i'm going to show you i'm going to introduce you to a couple elements um shot types and the basic fundamentals of storytelling so you guys can tell your story um, tell your own stories very well over any medium. That means also social media, uh, film, video, uh, anything visual. So I'm going to start off by showing you some of my work. And uh, uh, this is my website. You guys can go check out my work on my website. Um, I am an uh, independent storyteller and a freelance filmmaker. I'm working and studying in the greater New York area. I'm the founder and CEO of First Frame Films. It's a collaborative production and design company uh, based in Brooklyn, made up of a diverse group of actors, artists, and filmmakers who share a passion for creating meaningful work that moves, entertains, and informs audiences. Um, I earned my production certific certificate from the New School um, along with my, um, bachelor my undergrad degree from there, and I continued on to my master's degree to take my master's um, in film production and media management. <laughs> Um, three classes away from earning that master's degree, and um, I have I am also the um, uh, creator and direct, director of a new of a TV, couple TV series. One of them is about human trafficking um, in the United States, um, and I'll just show you a little sneak peek to that. This is uh, a project I shot for a class. using a, 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 a regular DSLR camera. Uh, that's just one project that I've done. Here's the uh, intro. It's the, the teaser intro for the series. Just kind of give you an idea of, of the type of work that I've done. There's one. Uh, um, here's some... Example of uh, of a film I shot a couple years ago. Um, and uh, here's a so my my latest project. All these shots I took with a drone. Um, and that that brings us to um, that brings me to this lesson for you guys uh, on framing and shot types. If you notice when you watch a film, it's not um, it's an illusion that it's continuous, but it's really a series of frames of shots. And um, and each shot has a different purpose. That's why you could you could use any camera to to, to take these shots. And um, if you have a smartphone, even if you have a flip phone with a camera. You can still do all these shots with your with the camera equipment you have. You don't really need a, a fancy camera or anything like that. Um, and you don't have to have even have dialogue. It can be all of action. I did a film called uh, Chasing the Sun. It had no, no dialogue in it um, at all. And I can share that with you. Let me see if I can get that up for you guys so you can take a look. Uh, here's the film. It's only three minutes and two seconds long. Um, this film was um, shot with one camera. Uh, and a drone. Um, there's some drone shots in here. Um, it was shot in Coney Island on over one day. 
with no dialogue, um, and I all the audio and stuff was done in um, in editing, which is very simple. It's placing music or sound effects um, in certain places, and I'm just going to play it for you. Take a look. As you can see, um, stories or scenes are made up of different shots. Each shot has a meaning, conveys a certain meaning. Okay, so that's the film. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that was shot over one day. But it kind of give you an idea of the story that you can tell without any dialogue. Um, if you want to add dialogue, you can, but you need a, you want to get a good microphone. But th that's, that's another lesson altogether. So today, I just want to talk to you about the different types of shots that I used and why I used them in that, in that film. So the first type of shot um, is an extreme long shot. Or a long shot, and these you know establish um, um, background and location. Um, other terms for this is like extreme long shot, establishing shot, aerial shot, and here's here are a few examples. Um, this is a long shot uh, from or establishing shot from the fighter. Um, this is one from uh, looks like uh, Lord of the Rings, and. Here's an example of an aerial shot from a film. Also could be used as an establishing shot. Now you pro most of you probably, unless you have a, one of those DJI drones, you can get them pretty inexpensively now. Um, or you could just put a camera on a, 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 a like a, 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 you know, on a roof, put a roof or something, and you can get an aerial shot that way if you want a long shot. Um, the next is the long shot. Uh, shots where the, the subject or your character is made to look small but not significant. And here, here are our examples of that. Here's one. Long, this is a long shot. It's head to toe. Um, that's a long shot.
This is a medium, medium long shot. Um, it usually it's right above the shin. These are just different shot types. You probably re recommend uh, recognize these shots from films you've seen. A medium shot uh, shows the background and detail. Um, here's examples of some medium shots. It has the, the subject where the character is closer in frame. Here's one from, uh, I forgot the name of this movie. Anybody can name this movie? Hunger Games, right? Here's another film. Medium shot, usually from the waist up. Around that area. Now, two shot usually um, has two characters in the frame and um, they can be mixed between the foreground and background, but not always. Uh, Usually done as a medium shot or a close up. Here's an example of one. Here's Pulp Fiction. Another two shot. Now over the shoulders um, are a shot where a camera is behind one of the characters' shoulder during a conversation and used to show connection between the two characters. So I'm going to show, show you this clip. Notice on the oval shoulder of this guy here looking at this guy. Hi. I went, I went with the police, like I put a man in him. These supports were brought to trial. Close-up shots are where the face of the character and the head take the majority of the frame. Um, and it focuses on their physical features and emotional motions of the character. Usually from the neck up. Um, and here are a couple examples. Anybody name this film? That's Emily. Here's another one. There's another close up. This is from The Shining. There you go. Extreme close shops is where the shot frame is composed entirely of one piece of the subject. So that concludes uh, this video. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, ask Malak uh, to to uh, to uh, get give you my contact information. I'm on Facebook. You guys can contact me directly on Facebook. If you have any questions about filmmaking, if there's something you want to learn about, text me let or let her know um, what you want to learn about or what you, what you have questions about, and I can help you guys. And um, I'm looking forward to helping you um, develop your, your storytelling voice, so to speak. And thanks a lot for everything, and uh, good luck. Bye.